Hello, dear marine aquarium specialists, especially importer, or the ones who are dealing with new fish arrivals from the ocean or from a marine fish supplier from Asia or South America or Africa, doesn't matter. Somebody who has dealing with the issues of acclimating procedures and quarantine procedures and what do I have to do as a treatment when new fish arrive and how do I prevent that fish gonna die when they arrive in the first days and what actions can I take to prevent that I lose fish so I share you some ideas today in my introduction for a new kind of series of videos about quarantine and acclimation and treatment of new arrival fish for those experts who are dealing with fish imports. And this is available through my Patreon and you have to purchase it. Yes, you can look at my introduction, but it's something at the end, if you want to learn more, you have to purchase this kind of beneficial, educational and very successful tool that helps you in, well, a good handling of new arrival of fish and also will give in my patreon your the assistance you can ask me some questions and some help on on how to handle certain fish diseases on the new arrival fish because i'm a consultant for the industry and someone who does precision guess work on unreliable data provided by those of questionable knowledge well yes because you have questions i try to help you so I share you my uh, PowerPoint where I show you what I, well, plan to tell you about the quarantine procedures for marine aquarium fish, the introduction. We all want healthy fish because sick or dead fish are a risk for the business and also for the hobby. The different steps the videos are present will lead you in a process of a good quarantine procedures. First of all, you have to manage the fish health. So you have to organize who is responsible for what kind of job and what actions need to be implemented. So you have to manage your team. Actions to be taken before the fish arrive. Actions to be taken when the fish arrive. All this will be presented in se separated videos. What treatments can we apply? What about the evaluation of the results within 24, 48 hours after arrival? The responsibility for checking and the microscopic examination of the fish who show injuries or wounds or lesions or poor behavior. Report to the supplier, the DOA, DOA report or death on arrival report and the self-critical review of your actions, which is very important for the next segment which you bring in and what can you improve in your actions to work and keep records of what you do. The opportunities will be presented that you prevent losses and that you save money because you want to deal with healthy fish that makes you a net profit. And I show you here some of the details I got of a job I performed in a marine fish facility. And the quarantine actions were taken in the end of May. And here you see the losses before May or during May. And here the losses after we implemented quarantine actions, procedures. And we had 60% less mortality already in the details we figured out by calculating what are the losses. Here you see it on all different species where our actions had good well, results, like the anemone fish. Angelfish was more difficult because it was also having seasonal influence. Each color bar has a separate period of the year. The banner fish, lead fish, bad fish, the blennies, about the same, was difficult to handle with a different quarantine procedure. So there were some other problems involved. The butterfly fish was a big change in losses, much less. Same for the damselfish. Same for the tanks. 
Same for the triggerfish. And also the rasses had a serious drop in losses. Some incidents here due to uh, temperature control and due to some incidents after storms in the sea. That can have an impact also on fish for certain exporters. It's all about fish, the immune system that can be having an impact of stress and poor water and food, of course, and that has a cause of pathogens to get in. Well, this is the basic behind, why you have to do good quarantine procedures and good acclimation to avoid that the pathogens get more uh, taken advantage of the fish and having a bigger impact on, on disease outbreaks. So you have to do take actions here, avoid the stress, help the fish to fight against the immune system. Because good practices and early treatment saves fish and money, like on this damage to green damsel, or here, the lesions or this emperor fish. All can be treated well if you do it on time. Well, take your actions, register and pay to pay, obtain the videos. That gives you the necessary training and the opportunity to ask questions and get feedback. Go to the Patreon uh, line I give here below, also below in the subscription, I give you the link to my Patreon. So I hope you as an expert of fish imports, thinking wisely of controlling fish diseases when you receive new fish. And I hope my experience helps you to become a better fish keeper. Thank you for watching.